Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video and we have something I bet you didn't expect to see. We have Dodge Ram NASCAR trucks. Listen to that thing start up. Look at this, this is a mod here bringing a Dodge Ram to the NASCAR Craftsman truck series and you're gonna notice some liveries are a little bit screwed up, but look at the interior. I mean, absolutely fantastic interior already uh, and all the different camera angles. You're gonna probably see me on that one right there, but very, very cool uh, to check out. What if we had Dodge back in NASCAR in some capacity? We're gonna check it out for a quick lap and then we're gonna do 30 laps of Martinsville racing surrounded by Dodge. This thing pulls so hard to the left. Like, it is crazy how hard it pulls left. Oh my goodness. I mean, I can't complain because in the corners it feels fantastic. There's a look at this 29 Penske machine going up on the inside here. Nice pass right there. They are so much better on corner exit than I am capable of producing. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it drives good. 19.2 seconds is really loose on entry though. We do not need to be doing that in the race, but love seeing all these Dodge trucks out here. Let's actually go, however, into the race and see what we can do. So we're kicking things off here. You can kind of see I've switched tracks. So I actually have taken us here to Las Vegas Motor Speedway uh, because the Martinsville one wasn't quite working out so well with the AI. So I decided to switch it up here. 15 laps around Las Vegas. Now, one thing that's really cool, let's check this out here. Look at the interior of this truck. This Everything you're seeing in this video is all a mod from the truck to the track and this has got to be one of the best modded interiors I have ever seen. We have seen trucks put on one heck of a show here when it comes to Las Vegas. We'll see what we get out of this 15 lap dash. A lot of cars or trucks tight together here. Now some of the liveries uh, pretty obviously do not match up here with this Dodge body. Like this is uh, I can see it says Chevrolet on that one in the green double zero truck for whatever reason. Now I'm going to the outside of making some passes here as we exit turn two. Oh my goodness, not a whole lot of room to work with right there. And I do, I see a Chevrolet symbol. Why is there a Chevrolet symbol on a Dodge? I don't know, but look at us whipping around the top here. We can absolutely fly around this outside, around everybody. There's the number 39 Ram. That's a interesting looking livery right there. And look at this, the three. The three is the Mopar logo. I didn't notice that. That is fantastic, actually. Well played to the mod creator, whoever did the liveries and whatnot. That is that is absolutely fantastic here as we exit turn two and we are moving forward pretty quickly. When I'm running the inside here, this car is a complete handful. Uh, but when you're on the outside, completely different. It works pretty well on the outside. Inside, it's a different situation. We'll try it again here down into turn one. We have such a massive run. I'll go up the inside of this guy. And oh, oh, there's not a lot of room here. They do not like to leave room. And we're going to lose a ton of momentum out of that. They are three wide up in front of us. I mean, just look at it again here as we head down into turn three. When I'm running the inside, I'm really having to move this thing quite a bit here. Now you can see it on the wheel, how it feels. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel that great here in the inside. They are going at it in front of us here with this three wide. That is fantastic. I want in on the three wide. Can I make my presence notice? Maybe not quite here to the outside. Again, just put that power down. We can absolutely fly around the outside here compared to everybody that just doesn't seem to be willing to jump up here. I'm going to give a nice bump draft to the truck in front of us there. Oh, this thing's all over the place here as we head down into three. So on the straightaways, uh, it really, really likes to pull to the left no matter what you do. So you got to really be careful of that. The speeds do feel a little bit inaccurate here as I can get upwards of 190 miles per hour in a truck, especially down into turn one. Like right now, 186, 187, 189, 189 I hit right there and I definitely could have gone quicker. So uh, I would say yeah, bare, bare minimum of 190 you can do down into turn one feels a little bit uh, inaccurate here with the trucks, but what not, uh, it's it's still, it's, it's a lot of fun here now. So I'm going to continue to rip the top here. This should be an easy win actually, honestly. The AI aren't putting up much of a challenge when it comes to Las Vegas. Still a just really cool concept, you know. Imagine if we had Dodge come in and race with the trucks, race with uh, uh, in the with Silverado, Chevy, of course, Ford with the F-150. Toyota with the Toyota Tundra. We've heard so many rumors about Dodge and, and NASCAR and the return because they uh, left so abruptly. They revealed their Gen 6 car back in 2012 before they won the championship with Brad Kozlowski. They win 
their first championship. I think it was their first championship. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they won the title with Brian Kozlowski. Uh, and what what worse time to leave the sport than right after you finally win a championship? But they ended up abruptly leaving the sport, and and now it is you know nine years later, and we haven't seen any signs. Actually, ten years later, sorry, and we haven't seen any signs of them coming back. Now we do know that there was talks between Dodge and RFK, which isn't surprising considering Brian Kozlowski. Kozlowski's, of course, uh, you know, co-ownership of that team now, which that could have been a very promising chat right there. But unfortunately, uh, that didn't really turn into much and it all went down the drain and, and Dodge is still not coming to the sport. And, and you look at the NASCAR manufacturer situation in general, it's a fascinating one. NASCAR reduced the horsepower significantly, added downforce. Uh, but the, the engine uh, package that we've had for years, they, they did that so we could attract new manufacturers that's what the, apparently these new manufacturers wanted well it's now been like five years and we don't have a single new manufacturer yet to the sport which is uh if i'm nascar I'm, I'm pretty embarrassed with that one to be honest with you because we haven't seen a, a dodge or say a honda what other manufacturers that could come in and get involved any any manufacturer in my opinion should be welcomed to the sport if they want to get in. I would love to see a Honda or a Hyundai even. Um, just what could they do if they came into NASCAR? I think the most promising one would have to be Honda. That's the one that comes to my mind for sure. But nonetheless, we'll have to wait and see another who knows how many years to see if we end up actually getting a new manufacturer in the sport or not. Absolutely flying here on the exit of turn two. It's going to be an easy pass down this back straightaway. I think we got enough time to get to the leader. Honestly, I don't know though. We, it's going to be close. We're going to have what just three laps to go at the line. We will easily make another pass around the outside. You can just full throttle here in Las Vegas as expected with the truck series. You know, not really any lifting. Two laps to go. I don't think we got enough time to win this race, but maybe second place is a possibility. One lap to go here in Vegas now. It would be cool if all the liveries were, you know, properly working. But nonetheless, it's still a cool, really cool mod here. As we're going to go for second place on the exit of turn two. Not even a contest. I could really crank the AI up further than what they are currently at. Well, that's quite obvious here. Down the back straight away through three and four for the final time. It would take a miracle to go and win this thing. But we are going to have a lot of momentum. It's just not going to be enough on the exit of four. Down the front straight away. For the final time, it's going to be P2 in Las Vegas in Dodge and the Craftsman Truck Series. We will take that. Well, there you guys have it. We had a field of like 30 Dodge NASCAR Craftsman trucks on the track here in Las Vegas. Very cool mod to check out. It'll be linked down in the description, like I said earlier. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Give me some more ideas, of course, with some NASCAR combinations. We'll check them out. That does it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.